A very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother Eric Braxton speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the blue Caribbean Sea. Well, brothers and sisters, beloved in Christ and outside the body of Christ, I'm reading to you all from a wonderful book that I have in my possession and the title of that book, The Middle East and Bible Prophecy. I am reading and I am in chapter 2, The Rise and Fall of Ancient Israel. So without further ado, beloved in Christ and outside the body of Christ, let the reading continue. One of God's most remarkable claims is found in Isaiah 46, 9 and 10. For I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. Declaring the ends from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand emphasis added throughout god here god not only say that he can reveal the future he also claimed the power to bring it to pass nowhere is this more evidence than in the remarkable prophecies of what should happen to abraham descendants through jacob offspring the 12 tribes of israel god promised to abraham while a standing a in their multitude nevertheless started small with the promise of his son isaac to be born to him and sarah genesis 17 19 20 21 1 to 3. Isaac in turn had two sons, Jacob and Esau, Genesis 25 verse 19, 26. Jacob had 12 sons from who the 12 tribes of Israel are descended. Prophesy birth of a nation. But long before this, before Abraham even had a son or at all, God revealed to Abraham that the fact that his descendants should go to one of the most remarkable birth process. A people... <laughs> A people should go through, they should, and let's give a little while. A people should, the people could go through, they should be enslaved in a foreign land, Egypt, before and an emerging as a nation. We find this prophesy in Genesis 15, 13, 14. Know certainly that your descendants will be strangers in a land of Egypt that is not theirs, and I will serve and I will serve them, and will serve them, and they will afflict them four hundred and thirty years. And also the nation who they serve, Egypt, the Egyptian will I judge. Afterwards they shall come out with great possession. This is referring, of course, to ex the Exodus. The remarkable chain of circumstances leading to the fulfillment of this prophecy is spelled out in Genesis 37:50 and Exodus 1:14. While the Exodus itself is one of the Bible's best-known stories, the events that led up to it area so well understood. In brief, Jacob, favorite of his twelve sons. Joseph was sold as a slave by his jealous brothers and end up in Egypt. Genesis 37. There, there through a series of events and God blessing Jacob. Jacob traveled and amazingly rose to the highest possession in Egyptian government under the Pharaoh. 30, chapter 39 and 40, 40, 41. When a, when a famine struck the region, Joseph family migrate, my, migrated to Egypt while thanks to Joseph for foresight had store enough grains to survived the famine chapter 42 47 joseph recognized that god had been behind all these events and that things had worked out their his way so that his family should be spare and god prophecies fulfilled genesis 50 19 20 verse 9 20 the 12 the 12 sons of jacob 
progenitors of the twelve of the tribes of Israel strive in Egypt. Exodus one one to seventeen. But then there arose a new king, a new king, a new a new king over Egypt who did not know Joseph. We'll see it. The new Pharaoh, feeling threatened by the growing number of Israelites, enslaved, enslaved, enslaved them and made their life bitter with hard bondage. 14. God called the son of two of those Hebrew slave Moses, who too miraculously circumstances had himself been a prince of Egypt, but was later a fugitive to lead Israel out of the, their enslavement. I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He announced to Moses, Exodus 3 verse 6. God then followed with a remarkable prophecy of what he intended to do with Moses and his countrymen. I have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt and have heard their cry because of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrow. So I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up from the land to a good land and a large land to a land flowing with milk and honey the land of canaan now come now therefore and i will send you to pharaoh that you may bring my people the children of israel out of egypt verse 7 10. what god prom purposed to do with was stunning to deliver a people from enslavement at the hand of the greatest superpower of their day the egyptians the following chapter cover the ten plagues and the wearsome parting of the Red Sea show how God indeed miraculously delivered the Israelites even down to the details of fulfilling his promise to Abraham that they should come out with great possession. Genesis fifteen fourteen. compare Exodus 11 chapter verse 2 and then 12 and exodus 12 verse 35 and 36 israelites in the promised land following israel miraculously deliverance from egypt came the period of the 40 years in the wilderness the conquest of the promised land and the period of the israelites judge many pacific minor prophecies were given and fulfilled during the time as recorded in the biblical books of Exodus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, and Judges. When we came to the establishment of the Israeli monarchy, we find that the dynasty of Israel's most famous King David had been prophesied to arise from the tribe of Judah centuries before, while the Israelites were still in Egypt. Genesis 49 verse 8 and 10 like many prophecies this were dual meaning it had more than one intended meaning of fulfillment in in that it also foretold that the coming messiah jesus christ should come from the tribe of judah compare hebrews the seventh chapter hebrews verse 14 because of spare space limitation, we won't go into the dozen of Pacific prophecies that were given and fulfilled during the seven centuries that the kingdom of Israel and Judah existed, but we'll touch only on only the most significant. And I will end on that note, brothers and sisters, beloved in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Now, beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, as I said, I will continue reading from this wonderful book with the Middle East and Bible prophecy. I pray with this information that I'm giving you all at hand, 
and posting it on the internet and the World Wide Web on YouTube. I pray and I hope that all those who see these videos, the Middle East and Bible prophecies, that you all will download the video and share it with others and tell others about these videos that I have on YouTube anywhere you all go so that by you all telling others about the video you will be sharing the information so that others will go to my YouTube account and download the information and watch and study the video by themselves individually and along with their family brothers and sisters so I have come to the end of this video my dear friend part 6 May the grace of God be with you and with me and with the human family from this day forth and forevermore. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye-bye, my friends.